Floss Tube, and welcome back to Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. My name is Denise, and today is Friday, July 22nd, and this is episode number 65. If you're new here, welcome. This is a channel mainly about cross stitch, although sometimes we do talk about crochet and sewing. If you are a returning viewer, Thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who clicked on the link in the description box and bought me a coffee. Um, I used the proceeds of Buy Me A Coffee to help with shipping as I do really, really, really enjoy doing giveaways. And um, I like to ship them out on time. Um, I want to thank everyone who welcomed and helped me to welcome Angel to the family. We are just having the greatest time, I must say. Um, he is um, very vocal. And so, strange as it may seem, I find that I now have someone to talk to all day. He is currently, um, I'm sorry, something caught my eye out the window. I'm so sorry. He's currently in the bedroom, which I don't always let him be in there. Like I have the door closed a lot, but he really isn't messing with anything. And he seems to be really happy when he can sort of hang out in the bedroom for most of the day until, of course, it's time to eat again because wow what an appetite okay so um thank you so much for your wonderful comments um it is a great community here and i really do appreciate it so i'm gonna go over a couple of those comments now um i got several comments about the uh, color conversion on stationary addict. Um, and so I'm going to show that to you again. Although I have not worked on it uh, this week, but uh, th here is stationary addict. I'm gonna have to turn this light down again. You think I would, you would think that I would learn. Okay. And this is by Little Dove Designs, okay? And so this is uh, how it will look when it's done, except with uh, my daughter's prompting, because I'm stitching this for my daughter for her, uh, for her eventual birthday. Um, so with her help and without her having seen the chart, she... Uh, basically chose the color palette for it and so this is uh, this is my stitching on it I would love to see what it okay I'm so sorry guys I didn't mean to, to mess with the light while I'm recording that's kind of rude but anyway um, this is what I'm stitching on for her and as I said, a lot of you commented about the fact that you love the uh, the colors uh, that we converted this to. So if you can kind of see them side by side. So um, what I am going to do is I am going to put the color conversion for this chart in the description box below. So check there if you are interested in uh, stitching this and uh, perhaps using the same colors that I'm using. So thank you for those comments. Um, let's see, what else? I've gotten several requests, including from my, own, my very own sister about uh, from new stitchers wanting uh, to be taught how actually to cross stitch. And so 
I have uh, been sending everyone over to the Fat Quarter Shop. Fat Quarter Shop has what is called Cross Stitch University. Um, I think that it's a great place to start. There's a free chart that you can download. You can go ahead and purchase the rest of your supplies there. And then there are several videos where they walk you through how to cross stitch. I'm going to put a link to that in the description box below as well. Um, I was at one point considering doing a uh, series of beginner uh, cross stitch videos. Um, of course, that kind of fell by the wayside with all the things that were happening. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about whether that's something that I want to address again sometime in the future. But in the meantime, I do suggest that you go to uh, Backwater Shops Cross Stitch University. Lots of information, good information there for you. Um, Kelly at uh, Don't Run With Scissors asked me what is yucca because i mentioned that we had gone to a cuban restaurant and that normally when i go to a cuban restaurant i order yucca and um so maybe other people would like to know what yucca is as well and it is um it's like a potato but it's got a slightly different texture and just a slightly different flavor, and I absolutely love it. So again, I do recommend that if you ever have the opportunity to try yucca, give it a try. I think it's delightful. I love it. I can't wait to go back to that restaurant so I can have some. So thanks for that question, Kelly. Michelle um, says that um, Angel is so cute. Thank you, Michelle. And that she hopes that he doesn't develop a love for my threads. Um, her little dog did and she wasn't happy at all. And she learned to keep them up high on a table and not on the coffee table. Um, thank you, uh, Michelle. And I did respond to Michelle in the comments. But just in case anybody else is wondering as well. I... Um, of course, have an entire craft room, but I had a craft area set up in the living room where I would sit in front of the TV and stitch. And um, as soon as I got Angel and brought him home, I realized that that was not going to be the smartest idea. So I moved everything into the craft room. I only craft in the craft room. I'm able to close the door to the craft room when I'm not utilizing it. And therefore, Angel is only in here when I'm in here. So I think I feel kind of safe because I also have a tendency, although some days it's not like this, but I think I'm pretty good at tidying up because um, I like to keep, you know, the different projects together. So I, I'm pretty good at not just leaving things laying around. Uh, but again, I still, I have that safety of the door that I can close. And I'm so sorry that I'm shaking this table today, guys. Um, so thank you for that, Michelle. Um, I, I think we're going to be okay. I'm keeping a really strict eye on it. <laughs> and so Michelle also was letting me know that she was looking for... The Freedom 1865 chart. I'm going to insert a picture of it here. And she let me know that she got a call from her uh, local needlework shop. And it was in the mail. Um, I'm really excited for you, Michelle. I would love it if you would share your progress. Uh, when you do start to stitch that over on the Facebook uh, group um, Black Ribbon Stitch Studio on Facebook. Thank you so much, guys, for your comments. I love it so much. Um, make sure that I know what page is what here in my voluminous notes, as always. Okay, so we're going to move right into whips, okay? 
The first thing I walked, of course, never in any particular order, but the first thing I'm going to share with you that I worked on is letters to Santa, which is a five part mystery stitch along by the Fat Quarter Shop and part four was released today. So as I said, it's a five part mystery stitch along and here's what it looks like up through part four, which was released today. And you can sign up for this. You can still sign up for this. It's not too late. It's never too late. Wait till you see my progress. Um, you can sign up for this on the Fat Quarter Shop website and um, go ahead and get going. I think it's so adorable. I'm really happy that I'm stitching it. And here is um, let me see. I did not take a photo of where I was last time. And it's okay because <laughs> I didn't do that much. Anyway, here's where it is now. I'm still chugging along on that border. Um, I think I'm only going to do, in typical Denise fashion, I think I'm only going to do a little bit more of the border before I go ahead and start stitching the inside because that's kind of how I roll. And so this is being stitched on 14 count chalkboard Ada with all of the called for DMCs. It's a delight to stitch on, love it. Okay, the next thing um, in my list of whips here is Rosina Desiree 1820 by Works by ABC. I'm getting lost in my notes today, guys. I am so sorry about that. And so this is what it will look like when it's done. And I hope that's coming through clear for you. And I believe I have a photo of where I was the last time I shared it with you. If I do, I will insert that here. And this is where I am now. And I feel like I got so much accomplished on this um, this week. Um, she's gonna be a pretty big girl. So let me show you where I am. So I got, now this is, I started in the middle. So this is pages five and six. Page six is complete. So I'm gonna go back and finish page five, which is, if I am correct, it's just one more row of words that are stitched over one. Um, so I'm gonna finish page five and then I will probably go up to page two, which would be in the middle. I am absolutely loving stitching on this and this is why I got so much of it done. Um, because, Of course, because I was stitching the flowers and and so forth everything except for the words and the top border i believe are stitched two over two so i'm stitching this two over two on 32 count lugana and the colorway earthen by picture this plus let's see if i hold it back it gets worse when i hold it back most people get better when they hold it back anyway here it is here it is. I got a lot done and I am very much looking forward to having this completed. So I will just continue to put my one strand a day, more or less, not ever less, but one strand, at least one strand of floss each day on this. It's really every other day. I promise, I've been doing this for a while. I promise. Okay, 
next thing that I was working on is Vintage Housewife, uh, which is a year long stitch along by Fat Quarter Shop. And I am just plugging along on it because I'm just gonna stitch on it all the time for the rest of the year until I'm done. And this is what it will look like when it's done. And this is how far I got. I'm going to insert a picture here of where it was the last time I showed it to you. Okay. So... Here's where it is now. And I absolutely did do a little bit more work on this border because I try to do that every single time um, I put it back in a hoop. So I did a little bit of work on this border here. And I actually did some more work. Oh, this needle mine just kind of heavy. Hold on. I actually did some more work on the border, on March's border. And I feel really confident that I will at the very least be able to finish March um, in, within the next couple of weeks and pretty much go ahead and start April. And April, what does April look like? April will be this cute little box here with the typewriter and the bots. So I feel pretty confident that I'm gonna be able to finish that box in the next couple of weeks. It's being This is being stitched on 25 count Cloud Lugana. And I have decided to change most of the colors to be more appealing to me. Colors that I actually like, enjoy, and won't mind having them hanging in my home. So there's that. And of course, I absolutely enjoy stitching on it. Um, it's always a pleasure when um, it comes up and it's time for me to stitch on it. Always a pleasure. Love it. Okay, the next thing that I worked on was To a Friend's House by Mary Inglebright, which is a stitch along that I am uh, doing along with Colette Highway Stitcher. Several other people are also stitching along in this uh, uh, with that hashtag. Uh, however, Colette and I are stitching the same exact project and we'll be exchanging them once we're done. So, this is what it will look like when we're done. And I by no means feel like this is a good photo, but it's what I have. And I will insert a picture here if I have one, I can't remember. I do, I have a picture of where it was the last time I showed it to you. And here is where it is now. Down to the wire, down to the wire. It's almost done. It's almost, uh, and it's upside down. Uh, let's flip it over. Okay. <laughs> it's almost done. To a friend's house, the road is never long. I'm on the word long, that's the last word. Then I get to go ahead and close up this border, which also does have another little bouquet of flowers. So really almost done. And I think that um, Colette is almost done as well. So this is a lot of fun. I'm stitching this on I believe it's 18 count, 18 count white Ada with all of the called for DMC except for the substitution of the 310 on the border. So there you are. That's gonna be so exciting. I think I know, I feel as if I know 
exactly how I'm gonna finish mine, which, um, you know, we're gonna, we're not sharing necessarily, I don't think. <laughs> let me know, let me know, Colette. Um, we're not sharing what we're doing to finish it, so. That's almost done, I'm excited. Okay, so my focus piece uh, this past two weeks has been, uh, I've been working on Mistletoe Lane and I did share it with you last time. Um, I'm still uh, working on that. And um, this is a, a chart that was a, it was a stitch along back in 2020 with that quarter shop. And I actually started this on my birthday in August of 2020. And this is what it will look like when it's done. It's mistletoe lane. And let me show you how far I've gotten. Here we are. Guys, I did a lot of stitching. There's a lot. Look at that. This banner, this huge banner is almost done i am so excited about that i'm so excited that i was able to get this much done so far this is still in my rotation for one more day i get to stitch on this for another whole day my goal is going to be to complete this banner now, I did talk about how I wasn't loving this project. I wasn't loving it. But then I got a, so, I, you know, I was really contemplating what I should do. Should I continue? What should I do? I got a question from, let's see. It was Amy at Sprinklestein Stitches. And Amy asked me, what is it that you don't like about the chart? Because Amy has already stitched this. Oh boy, this is this this table bumping thing is not gonna work, and I sincerely apologize to you guys for it. Um, so um again, Amy asked me what it was I didn't like about this chart. I already know what I didn't like, but it's somehow just the fact that she asked me gave me a whole new perspective. I told her I don't like these big chunky, I don't know if you could see it well, these big chunky outlines on things. I don't like it um, at all. And as I was typing the words, I thought about how I can fix it to make it look the way I want it to look. So if that's, since that's the only thing I don't like about it, I could, I have control. I can fix that. I could do some really, I have an idea of like some, you know, other thing that I'm going to do besides stitch these chunky outlines. And then I will absolutely love it after that. So I'm going to continue uh, to stitch on it. I'm good. As I said, I have one more day. My goal is um, to get the banner done and it will go back in rotation. I will not abandon it. It will not be a UFO. So thank you, Amy, for simply asking that question, which I feel kind of got me back on track. I'm going to move this pile because if I don't, it's going to fall. The question is, do I put it back here? Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's put it back there. Okay. So, um, that is all of my whips. Now, I did download a couple of freebies, and I love sharing that with you guys. So, the first one is called Merry Little Christmas, and it is by... A Merry Little Christmas House. And it is a by Heart and Hand. And this was a, a chart exclusively for Backwater Shop. 
and it's free. You can just uh, go to Fat Quarter Shop and search for A Merry Little Christmas House by Heart and Hand. Heart and Hand? Yes, Heart and Hand. So that's really cute. And what a, a, a cute little quick little stitch for Christmas. Adorable. And then, I don't know how many of you know about Melissa at Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting, but if you don't know, you need to know. I will uh, link her blog if I can. I think I can. I think I can link her blog below. Um, Melissa is just so generous. She constantly creates these really cute little charts and they're they're always free they're always free and so um when you sign up for her newsletter and you'll always know you know what's going on she has she shows the most beautiful displays of um all of her crafts um and so it's just you know a blog full of eye candy and then she will throw in a free cross stitch chart to boot okay so this time uh melissa um shared the summer stamp which is part of a series of stamps that she has now as i was printing these out i was really not sure whether I had already printed them out, but I was like, never mind. I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and do it. And so this is the summer stamp. She's got one. This completes all of the seasons. So I now have all of those. As I said, they're all free on her site, but I'm going to take this out of the sleeve for a second because there were all some Excuse me. There were also some other stamps. So, as I've said, this summer, this spring, there is autumn and winter. And then we've got a Santa stamp, a snow stamp. I believe she calls it Frosty. It's the Frosty stamp. And I think that I missed at least one. I may have missed more, but there was one that I wanted to get. It was the watermelon stamp, I think. Hmm. So go and give Melissa a visit. Uh, sign up for her newsletter. Um, send her some support. Let her know we love her. And those are some freebies for you guys for this week. Now I have some haul. Okay. So I had a couple of gift certificates from 123 Stitch. And something caught my eye. And I was like, well, you do have a gift certificate. Might as well go ahead and get it. So, um... If you remember my in my last video, I shared that my very dear friend Barbara had who does not even cross stitch had sent me a really cute needle minder. And it's up here. I keep my needle minders on that red tin. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's the anchor. Uh, needle minder, which I thought was so cute, so sweet. And um, Barbara and her husband live on a boat and it's just so appropriate. So I'm like, well, of course I have to get something nautical to stitch. And so, um, as I said, I went to one, three, one, two, three stitch and I got this chart by Rovaris. And it's simply called C. You see, it's a Rivaris chart. And it's C. And it comes with a little anchor charm. And I do believe there's the, the chart is included for both this on the pillow and for this crab. 
So I am loving it. However, guys, I do have a question for you. When I opened this, I noticed that, now, I know this is not the only Rovaris chart I've ever purchased. However, I have not yet stitched anything Rovaris. And so I'm just curious. So when I open it, I noticed that there are no, on the chart, there are no demarcations of, you know, like the, the 10, the 10 square grid. That's not there. So therefore, there's also no indicated center. I just want to know, is that normal with your Rovaris patterns? Because I love Rovaris charts. I just had no idea that I was going to have to put that much extra, I guess, effort into it. Like, I now have to figure out exactly where everything goes. But I do love the chart, and um, I had to have it because I want to use that needle minder so that I could think about my friend the whole time that I'm stitching on this. So that's the one thing, all right? Um, also, in regards to this chart, Crafty Natalia here on YouTube is uh, starting a hashtag, and it's called, and I'm going to list it below in the description box. It is All Things See Craft Along. Now, I had just received this chart in the mail when I watched Natalia's video where she was in, where she was uh, talking about the hashtag. And I thought this will definitely fit in with that hashtag. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be starting it soon because I am absolutely bonkers. I'm bonkers. I know it. Um, I'm sure I'm going to start it soon. I want to use the hashtag. And it, again, the hashtag is all things see craft along. So the other thing that's good about this, and Barbara, I hope you're listening. It can be any craft. It doesn't have to be cross stitch. It can be crochet, sewing, quilting, knitting, needle felting, whatever it is you're into. And the theme is C, and the hashtag again is all things C craft along. I thought that was a great idea. I'm going to be joining it. I want you guys to come and join in as well. I just think it's just going to be so much fun. So much fun to see all the things that people come up with. Because guys, you guys are really creative. And I'm anxious to see what you come up with. Okay, so I also purchased I am so excited about it my very first Mirabilia here she is her name is Charlotte and I purchased her in honor of the upcoming Queen City Stitch Retreat in October of 2023, that will be held right here in Charlotte. And I am uh, crossing every finger, toe, eyelash, um, everything that I get in. Uh, and so we are all pretty much stitching uh, Charlotte. Um, as, I mean, why not, right? It's it's the perfect thing. And the Queen City Stitch Retreat, the main theme of it is Mirabilia. Although, you, you don't have to stitch a Mirabilia. But I thought, this is just the best excuse ever for me to go ahead and get started with Mirabilias. I've always loved them. But I've never... I guess I want to say allowed myself to stitch them. Plus, let's face it, I didn't know anything about skin conversions. And yes, I will be converting her skin. 
uh, to a African American skin tone. And I just think she's gonna be beautiful. I'm pretty sure I will be changing her hair as well. So, okay, so this is a lot. Like this is my very first Mirabilia and I'm making all these changes. It's a lot, but you know what? I'm down for the challenge. I'm so ready for the challenge. And so I got everything that I needed. I got all of the floss, um, all DMC. I got all of the beads except for, uh, there are two sets of beads that they did not have when I placed this order. So, you know, the one one of the things I really love about shopping at 123 Stitch is that you can ask to be notified when something's back in stock. I did that and they came back in stock. I, of course, went ahead and ordered them right away because I want to have everything. I want it completely kitted. Um, and so I may or may not have also bought another Mirabilia. We'll talk about that when it shows up. Uh, I almost bought two. So I think I'm doing good. I only got one. <laughs> almost got two. And you'll see why when it when it comes up. Um, okay, so that's my brand new uh very first Mirabilia, which is completely kitted. And when I say completely kitted, yes, I pulled some fabric. And so, <laughs> one second. Okay, there it is. All right. So in my stash, uh, because of uh, my very good friend who loves to send me fabric, um, I have in my stash some 32 count Cecil by Sarah from Hand Dyed Fabrics. Um, it's Lugana, because that's what I like to stitch on. And so, here is Cecil. And, oh, see, when I turn it like this, you can really see it. And I'm gonna open it up a little. So that you can see the beauty of Cecil. Cecil is absolutely gorgeous okay but then okay so i'm thinking about stitching charlotte on cecil in the meantime however i also placed my very first order with brandy at bestitch me okay I placed this order because I was watching Linen. Okay, make sure I have the right people. I was watching um, Two Needles Pulling Thread. I don't know if you can hear them, but Angel just came into the room and kind of wants to know what I'm doing, but you'll be okay. Uh, come on. Let me see if he'll let me uh, take him up. Let me see if he wants to be on camera today. Come on, Angel. Come on. He probably wants something to eat or a treat because that's how he rolls. So say hi, Angel. Say hi. Say hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. Okay. All right. Let him get himself together because I don't know what his issue is. I think I'm going to call this issue this issue this episode the shaky table okay now so that was Cecil and then I placed an order with Brandy of Be Stitch Me and I ordered this fabric because I saw it the first on two needles pulling thread floss tube which I will link their floss tube below and it was May's neutral fabric of the month and I, it was a, one of those things I, I had to have it. There was no question. There was no question in my mind that I had to have it. 
so I placed my order right away. And this is a 32 count Lugana. I got a nice little uh, quarter yard. And the name of it is, please excuse the rustling and the shaking and all of that, pink chocolate. Okay? Pink chocolate. By Be Stitch Me. And here it is. Guys, oh my goodness. Now, you'll be okay, Angel. I think he's looking for his chair, which is over there, which it's not normally over there. And I'm so sorry. Okay. I am head over heels in love with this fabric. Just head over heels in love with it. It has the ever so slight pink tinge to it. And I, I, I'm in love with it. And so I am so happy that I got it. When I hold it the exact right way, it shows up. I actually took a picture, of a photo of it because I was going to, I was so excited that it came. I was going to do a video um, just of the unpackaging or the unboxing of it. Uh, but it turns out that the, I couldn't get the color of it to show through. So I scrapped that and I did manage to get a good photo of it because... I laid it on uh, the back of my gray chair and then the color came through very well. So I will insert the picture of it here. Now, so my dilemma of course, of course is, do I stitch Charlotte on Cecil or do I stitch Charlotte on pink chocolate? And maybe if I pull the chart back out, that'll help. Because I I totally want you guys to answer in the comments. What do you think? Do you think I should do Cecil or do you think I should do pink chocolate? Oh my gosh, I don't know. And here's the floss which I think looks good on both. So maybe you guys just want to vote in the comments. Let me know. Cecil or pink chocolate? Which one would you stitch Charlotte on? Um, as I've already said, she is completely kitted. And honestly, guys, I, I, I can't think of any reason to not start it. So, um, I think I will, I'm sorry, I dropped something. Excuse me. I think I will give you guys a chance to, um, weigh in on which fabric you think I should put her on. And then I am going to, um, stick her in the rotation <laughs> so that I can get started. Ideally, it would be great if I could uh, stitch her and plan for a finish at the retreat next year. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see what happens because I just because I just don't know. But I do feel that if I go ahead and get started, then I'll be that much closer. So, like I said, tell me what you think in the comments. And while I put all this away, so that, and so I am just, I'm head over heels. You guys can, I, I'm sure you can tell. I'm sure you can tell how excited I am about that. Okay. We're not going to do that. Okay. <sighs> um... So that was my, that was my haul. That was enough, right? That was a lot. So and it's now time to announce the giveaway winners. And bear with me because this is also a story. I don't even know if I have it over here. 
Hold on one second, please. Let me go get it. Okay, so I have been trying to give away the uh, items for the Christmas time stitch along that is being hosted by Fat Quarter Shop. It has been delayed until August. We're not going to start until August, but uh, all of the uh, supplies are ready and available. Um, I do think at the last time I looked, I think the Ada was not available, but you know, you can stitch it on whatever you want to stitch it on. Um, and so what it was, was the uh, Olive Mad for Plaid Project Bag, the um, Floss Pack, the 14 Count Ada in Natural, and the All the Trimmings Needle Minder. So, the original winner of this was Vonda Cowling. I didn't hear from Vonda, so I moved on and I chose another winner and that winner was someone else. I have not heard from that someone else. However, in the meantime, I did hear from Vonda and what happened was Vonda did reach out to me However, I never got her address. And so since giveaways to me are like a contest, um, I was not at all sure that Vonda knew that she had won the giveaway. And so once I announced the other person last week, Vonda said, but I emailed you. <laughs> she said, but I emailed you. What happened? So Vonda... Vonda Cowling, guess what? You are now going to receive the Christmas time kit. I have your mailing address. Congratulations. I will be putting this in the mail for you next week. Congratulations. Then we had the uh, Christmas Ornaments uh, Cross Stitch, Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornaments issue from 2020. And the winner of this is Fair Rose. Fair Rose, please get in touch with me by email at designmars1 at gmail.com. And let me know what you won and give me your address so that I could put this in the mail to you. Congratulations. So that brings us to this week's giveaway, which, guys, this week I am going to be giving away the complete untouched chart. Of Rosina Dizzeri 1820. Again, I will tell you the significance of this sampler. It is one of only a couple of samplers that has been reproduced, that has been stitched by an African American girl, and the date is 1820. So we know clearly that slavery had not ended yet. And um, this is um, from the, uh, she attended the New York African Free School. Okay. And that's how this came to be. Very significant. Also, don't forget all of the words and the top border, at least, I don't know about the other borders. I know for sure the top border is over one stitching. So can you stitch over one on Ada? Yes. Do I? No. So it's up to you. But I needed you to know that before you um, 
sign up for this giveaway, okay? Um, my friend Pat, who loves to spoil me with goodies, sent this along to me uh, just probably right before I started stitching um, Rosina Dizzery, and I let her know that I already had the chart and I stitching it and she said, no problem. You can use it in a giveaway. And so that's what I'm doing now. If you are interested in winning this chart, please use the name Rosina. We are going to say her name, Rosina. Yes. Use that in your comment or just put her name by itself. It doesn't matter as long as we say her name. And um, I will use the YouTube random comment picker to choose a winner before my next video. Please be over the age of 18. Please be in the United States. I'm so sorry that I cannot ship things any further than that at this point. Um, please don't use the word giveaway anywhere in your comment or I'm going to have to delete it. Please be a subscriber. And if at all possible, be a public subscriber because that is who these giveaways are for. The giveaways are for my subscribers as a way to thank you for your support. So again, the code word for this giveaway is Rosina. Uh, use, leave a comment using the name Rosina and I will choose a winner before my next video, which will probably be in two weeks. So good luck everybody. Okay, what are my plans coming up? Colette Highway Stitcher and Sarah Stitching Mommy and I had started a hashtag. We started a sale, um, Stitching on African Woman with Peonies. And it is called the hashtag Peony Sale 2020 because that's when we started it in 2020. It is a chart by Artisy and um, Sarah Stitching Mommy uh, said that she's going to be stitching on this. I believe it is uh, July 28th through July 31st. And so Colette and I are going to join her and stitch on hours on those days as well. If you um, are part of the stitch along, or have this chart and you're waiting for some reason to get started, please join us. Please do join us. Now I have this in my very first project bag that I ever made. Um, it's kind of large and I, I made it large like this because I wanted to be sure that I could fit my Q-snap. I use an 11 by 11 Q-snap. So I wanted to make sure that it fit in there. So I knew when I when I made it that it was going to be like a full coverage type project bag. All right. Now, here is what African Woman with Peonies will look like when we're done. It is definitely a full coverage piece. Um, I, okay. I'm not gonna get emotional, but Mr. Uh, Ribbon purchased all of this for me because uh, I was so excited when I found it. And peonies are my favorite flowers. And I said to him, this is me, this is me. I need to stitch this. I need to stitch this for you. And so, yes, it's a little bit emotional, but um, I'm glad that Sarah is bringing it back out. And so I'm going to be really happy to, to stitch on it. And I am just thought I would show you guys how far I've gotten up till now. It's not much, but I do believe this is my very first full coverage piece. So I'm okay with that. So there you are. That's where we're starting off, guys. And, and so at the end of the month, I'm going to be uh, stitching on it some more. And um, the only thing I haven't figured out is 
if I'm going to stitch on it for the full three days, I might do that. I might just, you know, as opposed to putting some stitches in and then not, I might stitch on it for the full three days. So we'll see how far I get. Um, I do not have this pattern in Pattern Keeper uh, because me, first of all, it's a paper copy. And I'm not sure that I have the stamina <laughs> to do all that's necessary to do to get a paper copy into Pattern Keeper. But I will, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll ask some questions. I'll do a little investigating. Because I think that it would be a lot easier if I did have it in Pattern Keeper. I did buy the uh, the string, the line that you use to um, grid the fabric. So I'm probably going to pull that out because it's not... I, I started gridding this with pen. It's not fully gridded. I'm not happy with it. Yada, 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 and so forth and so on. And also, guys, um, I don't know. I guess I wasn't keeping good notes at that time because I seriously don't know. I honestly don't know what fabric this is that I'm stitching this on. I think that it is. I just don't know. I, I, I want to say Ada. Well, I think it's Ada, but I I don't know. I don't know what count or anything. So I'm going to dig around and see if I can find some of that information as well. Um, I, I was kind of sitting here a little, like, stumped when I was looking at it yesterday. Like, I, you have no notes at all about that? That's crazy. That's craziness. So. We're going to do that together. Um, going to, of course, continue stitching on the stitch alongs that I'm involved in, including Vintage Housewife and the Ingle Bright Love Sale. I'm going to con sti continue stitching on Rosina Dizzery, um, always until that is complete. I have one more day to stitch on Mistletoe Lane, and then I'm going to spin the wheel well this is what my notes say okay let's, let's do that then i'm gonna spin the wheel for one of my five kitted projects because the way i'm doing my rotation is i have to touch a certain amount of whips before i get a new start out of my to be started pile so, Mistletoe Lane is six out of six whips that I needed to stitch on before I could get to that point. But then I realized I have five, and it may be more by that time, kit, kitted projects. How am I supposed to choose? Now, so that means I have to think about, well, I know for sure it's it's really bad guys is i know for sure that i want to start so many things i know for sure that i want to start charlotte so do i put that on the wheel of five kitted projects or and i know for sure that i want to start the rovaris chart do i put those on there what if they don't come up I don't know. So stay tuned because th there's always there's always a dilemma going on around here. And that's why I use <laughs> that's why I use wheels because there's always this like, well, what do I do? Like, where do I start and what do I start? OK, so that that's where I am with that. Um, I have done no unpacking, organizing, none of that in the past couple of weeks. So that's kind of piling up. Um, so I'm going to have to pay some attention to some of that stuff. Um, thank you for listening to me ramble on and on, guys. Um, don't forget to join the Facebook group, Black Women Stitch Studio on Facebook. 
Um, I like to think that we're having a pretty good time over there sharing things with each other. You can follow me on Instagram at Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. And if you enjoyed this video, please do go ahead and hit the like button. Thank you to everyone who shares my videos. And if you really, really like this video, please do consider subscribing. When you do subscribe, please do hit the bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And to close out with words of wisdom this week, just remember, those who judge will never understand. And those who understand will never judge. Express love, create beauty, be kind. Until next time, guys. Bye.